communication between the president of Bordeaux and myself is very clear. I kept him informed of everything that happened and I'm ready to sit down with him, if he has to make a comment, to sit down with him here and to explain to you what he said. And there I will answer, eye to eye, because I think uh, I don't agree at all and it's very difficult for me to understand any statement of that kind from him. I'm ready to make a press conference with him if you want. I'm not angry because I look in the mirror, I know what I did and uh, I don't need any special statement or comment. I know what I did. I can, we can sit down here with the player, with the president of Bordeaux and have an explanation and you will see what I did. And I'm sure that the president of Bordeaux will agree with what I said. This is a transfer that has not happened. A transfer that has not happened. I made, I don't know, uh, nearly 200 transfers. That means 400 have not happened, you know? It's part of, of uh, any uh, deal. It's not because we are under pressure in Bordeaux that we have to explain <coughs> everything that happens. I feel it is very important to keep confidentiality of everything that happens between. i never seen a, a story like that where every, every day something is in the newspapers because they talk. You don't talk. You talk when you sign the play. You come out and say, listen, we signed this play. All the rest is a normal procedures of a transfer. I'm not happy with the things like they are at the moment because I would like from... Uh, I, I'm happy to give the responsibility to the referee, but I would like to that we are given strict rules of how they calculate the time uh, remaining. Nobody knows really, is it 30 seconds for a substitution? Is it not? Do they take the real time when the player is down? Do they calculate the time when they call the physio on the pitch or when the player goes down? Nobody knows what, how it is calculated. And it's always a question mark at the end of a game to know really how long uh, you will play. I believe uh, if you go for an independent timekeeper, it would be more difficult to predict. That means you play on real time. No? If you play on real time, it's difficult to predict when the game will finish. Because uh, I believe if you play on real time, uh, you should play much longer than what is played at the moment. Then, uh, if you give the responsibility to the referee, I believe one thing that is very important is that everybody should exactly know the rules. Nobody knows. They do the freedom uh, for the decision making for the referee is too important. Because I tell you something, we sit all on the bench at the end of the game, we cannot say with four substitutions plus two minutes injury time, plus two, mi two minutes uh, player was down, that ma makes so and so much. Nobody knows. And uh, in fact, uh, uh, the demonstration that some teams play longer at home, like I've seen that uh, on your channel, is not convincing at all. Because you could say as well, it is an advantage not to play injury time at home. Because why? Because you're leading. So it, go, it, it could have the reverse effect. Then what you wanted to demonstrate is that the team who in fact has an advantage at home is the team who plays less injury time than any other team. I believe it's always a, a cultural shock to go down level, you know, and... Uh, uh, I know by experience, uh, by talking with some players who I had, I had to have done that, they all have experienced it badly in the first six months. And uh, you can understand that uh, I believe he decided to quit. I believe Sol has enough still in the locker to play in the Premier League. And, uh, but uh, I knew that it would be difficult for him.